Well, our top story tonight concerns vaccine passports in our state. A bill is on its way to the House floor that could ban them within Iowa. Local 5's Ryan Scott breaks down what vaccine passports are and what this bill means for you. A vaccine passport is proof that you are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. It can be a physical ID card like you carry, like your driver's license, or a digital ID card on your smartphone. Here's just a sample of what Iowans had to say about vaccine passports during today's public meeting. Iowans spoke and you listened. They are adamantly, adamantly against vaccine passports and quite frankly, adamantly against vaccine mandates, period. We must protect all Iowans. Without proper protection, this will leave the door for legalized discrimination wide open. There isn't much that would cause me to move from the state, but I will leave the state in a heartbeat if vaccine passports are allowed here. At 11.15 today, Local 5 counted just shy of 100 public comments on this bill before the meeting. The vast majority of them in support of it. If passed, the state would be banned from issuing or mandating vaccine passports. Businesses and other entities also wouldn't be allowed to ask if you've been vaccinated or ask you for a vaccine passport. If they do, they could risk losing state funding. They can still put other COVID precautions in place like masks or social distancing. During a press conference early this month, Governor Reynolds shared her stance on vaccine passports. I think when you're what you're doing when you move forward with something like that is you're creating a two tiered uh, society and it's that you either engage or you're marginalized. I think, you know, what are they doing with the data? It is more big government. Um, overseeing what's what's happening and so we want to make sure that that doesn't move forward in the state of Iowa. Now Iowa isn't alone in trying to ban vaccine passports. Governors in Texas, Florida, Montana, and Idaho, and Arizona have already signed executive orders banning them. Alabama, Michigan, and Ohio could be next. All three are working on laws against them. And back here in Iowa, this bill still needs to be voted on in both the Iowa House and Senate before it reaches the governor's desk for final approval. In studio, Ryan Scott, Local 5 News. We are Iowa.